Do some Python on hardware. All right, so we have our Adafruit Daily newsletter. We do this every single week. You can go to Adafruit Daily. You can get it via RSS. You can get it on GitHub. You can get it sent to you via email. Completely separate site. Um, we have our highlights of Python on hardware projects. This is a submarine hum this hum is hunting really game. Cool. Yeah. yeah, with Circuit Python. Um, we have uh, had a fail at Circuit Python. This is a very cool this is from guide. Playground, yeah, uh, which playground guide. people. Um, Post your projects on Playground. We yeah, have like and like there's a bunch of it. And like Squid, who I think is in the chat. Yeah. Uh, posted a project. It's super cool. It's live and um, how to you know how to check code failures. Yeah. On we want to have so. the easiest best place for you to post your projects. You don't How's have to that? worry about ads or for some people to log in to see stuff. Um, but anyways, one of the things um, that we like to do is cover kind of all the ways to run Python on hardware. So we have this Raspberry Pi Five review from PC World. Um, I'm going to get to this uh, other things in a second, but one of the things that is in the news right now, and I thought this would be kind of funny. And when I asked Lady Ada, what does she want to talk about for this week? Um, she said, oh, I'll talk about one of the articles we linked to, which is um, here is Raspberry Pi alternatives. Now, we didn't time this or anything, but the meme that's going around which I think is interesting. There's a meme? There, there's a meme that's going around. I think this is interesting. And then I'll, I'll, I'll bridge the gap here. Um, so there is the Apple Vision Pro that came out, and yeah. then there is the you know Meta Quest, and I think each company has their own thing, and each company has their own you know figurehead. There's Tim Cook from Apple, there's Mark Zuckerberg from from Facebook. You know Google has um, their guy, Microsoft has their guy. So <laughs> who's the guy? Their guys. Yeah. And so. Um, the interesting thing is Mark Zuckerberg just did like a, a very like, I'm going to say Adafruit style video, which is like the founder talking about stuff. It's like, so he, so Mark Zuckerberg, so like brought, ask a Zuckerberg, so sort of ask a Zuck. So what I thought was interesting was um, that just with like kind of not, not, maybe they spent a lot of time on it and it made it look like it was like off the cuff, like not edit, but it, it was like, he's like, okay, here's someone they're just going to record me. And they're gonna have, and I'm gonna talk about the Apple Vision Pro and what I like about it and its strengths and weaknesses and all That's that. That's actually stuff. really cool. Yeah. yeah, and I thought how interesting it was that the CEO, the founder of Facebook, would do that because Tim Cook from Apple is not gonna yeah, say, do that. He's not gonna say, "Hey, I tried the the Quest, the Meta Quest, and here's what I think about it." It's yeah. just different style. Totally. But I thought it was interesting that like Mark Zuckerberg is using the Apple Vision, use the Apple Vision Pro, and he's like, "Hey, this is why I, I think the the you know the Meta Quest is better," and he gave you know complimented his competitor and the strengths and weaknesses. And so, um, you know, I don't get a chance to talk to the Raspberry Pi folks that often, but I actually think Evan um, from Raspberry Pi should should do something like this because i actually think he he has the ability to talk straight to the camera and say well here's what's good here and you know admire competitors all that stuff i think it'd be interesting for eben to say hey here's the raspberry five you know here's the raspberry competitors out there here's what's good with them here's other things because i think that's kind of where we're at there's the companies that they need the polished videos and they will never do the comparisons and then there's some people who can look in a camera who really know it. and what matters most of the time is the founder that gets their hands dirty and so I think that's why, like, Mark Zuckerberg was able to do this this comparison with Apple Vision Pro and MetaQuest because he's kind of in, he, he's, you can tell that he's really into this stuff. Not that Tim Cook is, and this is different. So when Lamar said, oh, yeah, I'll talk about the five best Raspberry Pi alternatives in 2024, it's not because we don't like Raspberry Pi. It's just this is interesting for us. And we it's also, also like there we'll are tell some you, things that are, if you want. Yeah, like, we'll tell do, you. You know, GPU powered. Yeah, AI, like and, the NVIDIA is going to. And of course, we're going to recommend it. Raspberry Pi yeah. um, 5 stuff, you know, um, for, for what makes sense. But I, I think that that's one of the differences, like companies, there's there's companies of founders that are technical founders that are that are going to able to be able to talk to people. And some people like that style. Some people don't, whatever. Um, but I think this will be interesting. So when this came up, you're like, oh, yeah, I'll talk about the alternatives. So Lady, yeah. I took it away. There's there's other Raspberry, there, there's Raspberry Pi alternatives. Yeah. We have a blog post and some sums it up zestly. Yeah, there's a whole article. But what I yeah. think is interesting is, well, first off, you know, I've used some of these and like, you're not going to have as much support as with the Raspberry Pi. I mean, like the Raspberry Pi, like it is just, there's millions of users. And so there's there's more support, there's more projects. Um, but the Orange Pi is like really, really popular. Uh, can you scroll down? Um, it's Do you it, want to go to the article? Used, uh, no, you can just 
There's Those an are fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. First so, on orange pie. The orange pie, um, you know, and you'll see like some of these have like, you know, different things that you can like, you know, that are add on. Like it looks like there's like a built in battery on this one. Uh, it has a smaller connector. Um, it uses the rock chip. Um, okay. Scroll down. All right. And a lot of these, like, some of these actually can, like, run Windows and stuff. The Udo Bolt, and I think it has, like, two PCI slots. or No, it has can, uh, ECC RAM, so you can actually add, like, a significant amount of external RAM. It has, like, looks like Grove connectors on the bottom. Um, yeah. All right, so then go down. There's the Leap Potato, which we're is... We're going to tie this all together with CircuitPython in a minute. Yeah, this Hang one, tight. I think what, this one is actually, like, open source hardware. This is... Uh, the M Logic, um, which is also used by I think, the Orange Pi, this, this chipset, and it's like hardware compatible, and it has the two by twenty header. It looks like it also has infrared input, um, and there's they, they kept the AV output, which is kind of nice, and they have a serial port, uh, which is kind of nice console. And then the O Droid, which is like really a beefy processor, it looks like it's a real time clock, audio output built in, infrared as well. So a lot of these are good for like media servers or ex uh, external control. Uh, this also has a DC power input, which is kind of nice. You want to power it from not USB, from a um, DC power plug. Uh, looks like it has a buck converter, so probably can handle it. And of course, the NVIDIA Nano, you know, is for you want GPU performance and you want to do AI. Um, this is definitely going to have, it's basically the equivalent of like, basically, you know, look, you look at the specs, but Raspberry Pi plus a, a co-processor core yeah. type was their pick. device. Now, the, the thing that's a challenge, though, is um for microcontrollers you kind of have to have a different programming language a different thing but one of the things oh by the way all these have different hardware interface layers. all of these are very complicated except for we kind of knew this was coming so one of the things we have is uh we have I think four out of five of these are on Blinko already. So if you go here and you type in like orange, orange. you see we have all the orange pies. So yeah. the five, the five plus, the light, the one. Um, so all these are supported with Blinka. And so, you know, if you want to do GPIO, I squared C, SPI, and use all of our libraries, we have like hundreds and hundreds of libraries. Yeah. A lot of example code will just work out of the box. Now, not everything, everything will work because like sometimes they have like very specific, weird interfaces yeah. um, for stuff. But a lot of the basic GPIO and hardware interfacing will work. And if there's analog or PWM support, we usually have that as well. Um, and we have guides, especially for the Orange Pi, and you can look for the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. We have support and we, you know, we, we try to get it so that you can use... Um, sensors displays oleds no matter what raspberry pi compatible incompatible linux yeah. single board computer using and that's like a big deal because it didn't like believe when we did the initial port for blinka that was not true a lot of them they all have their own little like weird ass gpio hardware interfacing forks that are like yeah a fork of a fork of a fork and they like tweak some like register values and then they're like ship it so um, the so, yeah. um you know in summary, um, one of the things that I think is important is like, especially when you're in this like maker world and you're like Adafruit, like we're always going to do open source and we want to make something. So whether you pick a Raspberry Pi or an Orange Pi or yeah, an NVIDIA, um, you'll be able to use Blinka. And if there's, you know, whether it be a supply chain issue or it's just right tool for the right job, um, we'll always recommend the right thing. So yeah, just try um, it's, it's compatible in a hardware, you know, like. And this was a big deal, like, you know, we did this talk like four years ago for, you know, Australia Linux conference. And I was like, I don't want to keep writing drivers for every yeah. interface. And then the thing is, like, stuff in the Linux kernel changes. Like, they do change stuff. Um, we can hide those changes behind. So, this I don't know if I'll get yeah. time, but I, one of the things I thought would be funny and useful is like, oh, hey, I mean, just like, get to go to that Digitrends or get all five and just do the same thing as Zuckerberg did. Because I like that there's some... Evan's very technical. I like that there is there is some founders that can do that. And I think that's what people want to see more and more. Like the beautiful marketing videos and like, okay, you're going to watch Marvel movies with, you know, this thing on your head. Okay, cool. But I like the idea that someone was like, well, here's the actual tech specs. Here's the thing. Here's what I, I hear. Here's the, like kind of in the weeds, um, you know, in one video take live. We're doing this live. But anyways, I thought that was interesting. This is live? Yeah. So, they saw me yawning? Yeah. 
So anyways, um, check out that and more. It delivers to you every single week at Adafruit Daily. That's what we're all about. Thanks, Mike.